So, we've made a slight detour, only by 100 yards, to come to Thurnham Castle. First mentioned in 1225. This is just the remains of the outer wall. Absolutely fascinating. Well, let's go through for Port Cullis. <laughs> oh, he's a funny man. He's a funny man. Yes. Yeah. Got some great standing stones, people who know me. I'm very much into stone circles and ancient monuments. Uh, Golden stones are near here uh, by the National Trust. And the chestnuts, I must admit, I've never heard of them, which is interesting. But... People have seen my videos uh, for Avebury, I've been going to for 25 years, and I've got an obsessive nut I am about that place. Very powerful energy centre. There it is, Holden Dunbarrow. And it's absolutely chucking it down. I really want you to see this properly. It's like a mini Glastonbury, you've got all the offerings on the tree. From all our pagan friends. It lives a lot of Avery and Swallowhead Spring. I start raining, a little bit of a rainbow coming up. I don't know if you can quite see it. Probably not, it's a bit too faint at the moment. I want to see the, the barrow in a bit more detail, but yeah, it's just too wet. Above the streets and houses, houses ring goes flying high. Well, there it is, yeah. Show you Kit's County House. Ancient monument. Well preserved dolmen here in Kent. On the Milkway Stones. And I've never been here before, much like our stone circles. And I'm so pleased to finally see it. So, uh, yeah. Down that bit to a burial chamber, little Kits Coty. It's interesting actually when you get burial mounds and burial sites of uh, Neolithic origin uh, in England, they're sometimes very near ancient trackways. Avebury, especially, is right by the Ridgeway. Um, Kits Coty House, right on the North Downs Way. Actually, the North Downs Way and the South Downs Way does actually transverse all the way to uh, the Wiltshire Downs at Avebury. It's uh, interesting where our ancestors use these old routes to uh, become more and more in mainland. This little stretch actually is where the leaves and everything have curled over. It's all part of a complete circle. So we're in Poxley Warren Local Nature Reserve and actually where the high speed rail channel channel link was built they found uh, an old uh, Neolithic longhouse and dated back to 4000 BC so it's um, one of the earliest well dated Neolithic structures in the country. It's very interesting. And also on the route here is the Whitehall Stone. Very well known ancient stone. Part of a barrow 